Hey everyone, Corbin Hosler back here this week with another deck for our Mining Modern series. Uh, this is a good one coming to us here. This is a Jacob Van Lunen special, uh, so shout out to Jake for, for giving me this list a while back. He got to brewing with Bring the Light and Modern, and this has been the result. Now, obviously, there's a million different ways you can go with Bring the Light. A lot of people uh, played in Scape Shift. It's pretty good in that deck. It's more copies of your combo card. A lot of people um, sort of play it as just a value card in decks that are naturally three to four colors that can, you know, make four or five colors of mana when they need to. This is a deck actually built around Bring the Light. And the reason I like this is maybe not that it's incredibly competitive, because I don't know that it, it is, so it's certainly not bad, uh, as we'll hopefully show. But it shows, it's a build around me card, Bring the Light is. And this is something that, this is the way a lot of decks of Modern are brewed and start is, hey, we have this card, what can we do with it? Uh, and it's powerful enough you can do a lot. So I, I love that this approach to deck building, and it really informs a lot of deck building decisions, is, you know, we got to start somewhere. And uh, you start with the, the, the cards you want to build around, and you go from there, and you just figure out what works well with it. So in a deck that wants to make five colors of mana, what works well with it is obviously a lot of mana. So uh, Birds of Paradise, definitely what you'd expect. Uh, Lotus Cobra, I think, is a sweet one, because this deck plays uh, the full eight 12, as you see, uh, fetch lands. So that's a lot of ways to make Lotus Cobra very good. Uh, it's also possible we want Knight of the Reliquary somewhere in here. Although, for right now, for these videos, we'll be trying Blade Splicer. Because it's a great turn to play, and the uh, the synergy with Restoration Angel is very strong. Um, that said, uh, you know, the the Knight for the Bring the Light is good as well. But anyways, a lot of what this deck can do is play turn two Lotus Cobra, and then play Fetch Line on turn three, have five mana, get Bring to Light. Uh, and of course, we're running the Restoration Angel uh, Kiki Jiki combo, because this is how a lot of games will end. Alternatively, you can get Thunder Maul Hellkite, which is a beating, backed up by Earling Green Souls. Uh, not to mention good against a lot of decks, just for the enter the battlefield ability where you deal damage to their flyers. Also, Obsidat is a great one in grindy matchups. It has the ability to be unkillable except to instant speed removal. That is basically just Path to Exile. Um, you can't Maelstrom Pulse it. You can't Liliana it, any of these things. So this is a very nice uh, sort of tech card to go get with your Bring to Light. Um, past that, it's actually, you know, we don't have a ton of Silver Bullets in this deck because you don't really need them. Uh, there's more in the sideboard. Uh, but in the main deck, it's just a pretty straightforward value deck. Uh, you have lots of great grindy cards like Lingering Souls. You know, solid removal options, your mana production. Uh, and then, you know, like I said, value. Course of Crucifix, very good with all these fetch lands because you get to see the top card of your deck. And if you have a fetch in play, you can crack it. Uh, not to mention it offsets, um, you know, a fair amount of the life loss from all of those fetch lands and shock lands we have to play. And like I said, I think Blade Splice is very good at holding the ground while we you know, try to set up for some of our late game. Um, plus, there's the obvious synergy of just, you know, turn one birds, turn two blade splicer, turn three resto angel. You're going to kill somebody very fast with that. Um, the mana base is, I mean, it's what you'd expect. It's a lot of fetch lands, uh, a lot of shock lands, uh, some creature lands, the raging ravine, the shambling vent. Um, and we get some value basics in here for the path to exiles from our opponents. So you have to be very careful when you fetch in this deck. Um, so that's that's the deck, though. I mean, we'll definitely... This is sort of where I want to go with this series. It's not just to play powerful decks. Obviously, last week we started with the Immerical deck, and we went 4-1 and one in the matches we played, and that's great. But that's not necessarily my goal every week. Uh, we're going to explore the format, and we're going to find some powerful decks by doing that. But sometimes maybe we'll have something that maybe isn't quite as, as good, um, but has potential. And that's where I think Bring to Light comes in, because this has... A lot of potential to build around it's just a very powerful card i mean for every mana you put into it you if it's a different color which in this deck isn't a problem you to go get a um creature instant or sorcery with those so it can get a lot of things so moving on to the sideboard here uh, again sort of generic powerful options uh thought seeds for the combo decks slaughter pact uh, as well just sort of um you know it's, it's a card when we need it Stony Silence, Ancient Grudge, Fracturing Gust, Creeping Corrosion. These are your Affinity, Thopter cards. Uh, Static Caster is very good against Affinity and Mana Dork decks as well. Crumble to Dust for Tron, Firewalkers for Burn. So, you know, n you certainly get the best options when you have five colors to, to get. So in all of these, except for the Stony Silence, 
uh, we can fetch up with the brain delight if needed. Uh, so brain delight for fracturing gusts is a, is a pretty good, and that's where a lot of the bullets come in, you know, for it gets affinity or, or boggles or something. And yeah, we may only have one fracturing gust, but with brain delight, we essentially have five copies of it in our deck. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start up some matches with it. <laughs> 